Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand commit and rollback command in SQL. So, commit uh, we have already discussed in our previous classes. Whenever uh, we give commit, means all the work that has been done so far will get saved. We cannot we cannot get back. So, once saved means none of the transactions can be done uh, can be undo. Okay, so the commit is used to permanently save the changes done. So once the commit is done means all the changes will be saved, permanently saved. So once you, it is not possible to roll back. So the next one is your roll back. Roll back is used to undo the transactions. See here, undo the transactions that have not been saved in the database. The, this point is very important. Undo you can understand but not saved in the database if the content if the uh, data in the database is not saved that data can only be undo we can do only that data that that transactions to be rolled back once the data is saved means it is not possible to roll back okay so the command is uh, only used to undo changes since the last command uh, commit since the last commit, whatever the work that you would like to undo, so that will get rolled back. Okay, so we will try to understand this on our uh, SQL uh, so that the things will become more easy. So what we will do is first we will execute a query. So this query will try to execute update student set salary 600 where name is equal to Vikram. So I again uh, we will try to do this. Okay, see here the uh, Vikram by name Vikram the, that student's name salary has been updated from hundred to six hundred. Now now what we will do is we'll commit this work. Commit commit semicolon commit complete means all the work has been saved. Now what we will do is we will try to delete the work. Uh, uh, we will use our previous commands. Okay, De delete from students where salary is equal to hundred. Okay, okay, hundred has been deleted, updated, right? So salary is equal to six hundred. Okay, one row deleted. Next, uh, uh, we will try to see the values in students here. One row has been deleted. Now. Uh, again, we will do delete from students. So we'll delete all the students. See here, uh, delete from students with this uh, where condition is not given means all the data will get deleted. Four rows were deleted. Uh, let's see select from students. No row selected means all the content has been deleted. Now what we will do is and we thought that this is a wrong step and we would like to undo all that work so for that to happen roll back roll back semicolon so what happens let's see not the previous transaction all the transactions and uh, uh, this roll back commit all these uh, commands come under transaction control language tcl okay so uh, roll back complete now let's check what is the content that has been rolled back see here so all the content after the commit has been rolled back see again the content is rolled back means so these two transactions select delete from students and select delete from students where salary is equal to 600 has been rolled back both transactions has been rolled back all the transactions that are done after commit will get rolled back that difference is very important to understand okay so this is all about commit and rollback uh, uh, commands in sql hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching